Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 35, chapter 8 of Fundamentals of Physics. In the figure here, a block of mass 3.20 kilograms slides from rest a distance d down a frictionless incline, a frictionless plane incline at angle theta equals third degree, where it runs into a spring of spring constant 431 newtons per meter. So the block will start from the rest and slips down the inclined plane and we run into this spring and compress the spring. When the block momentarily stops, it has compressed the spring by 21 centimeters. What are item A? Distance D and B, the distance between the point of the first block spring contact and the point where the block speed is greatest. I already draw the situation here. When uh, so. First, we, we, of course, we will solve this using energy conservation. So we leave the, the block, the block will slip down the, the plane uh, and compress the, the spring. In the initial situation, we don't, we don't have any kinetic energy and also in the final situation of item A. And therefore we will have only potential energy. The gravitational potential energy depends on how we choose to, to be our axis, our reference. I will put my reference here in the initial situation. So my, let's put it my coordinate system will be here. In this position. So if I, I, I consider here my coordinate system, the initial potential energy will be zero. But of course, I must consider the, the final situation will be some potential energy and will be negative, of course. Here. So it's necessary to take into account. this height, the potential energy here is zero and here will be minus eight. On eight is can be can be easily obtained considering that we know theta and you know of course we don't know exactly the value of d it's the unknown, but we can write the height using d and the angle theta. So let's do it. Initial situation, what's the energy? The energy will be zero. We don't have potential energy. We don't have kinetic energy and we also don't have energy, potential energy due to the spring. So zero. In the final situation, the blocks is in the position D. So we will have a negative potential energy due, it, due, the, uh, due to this height. 
So it will be the mass multiplied by the acceleration multiplied by d sine of theta plus the energy of the spring, the compressed spring. So one half the constant of the spring, the spring constant, multiplied by the amount of compression. Let's write it as xf, the final, uh, the final position here of the with the, the the spring in the maximum compression. That is 20.1 centimeters. So here it's is it's only necessary to to find d. So d will be k x f squared divided by 2 m g sine of theta. D will be 431 multiplied by 0 0.21 meters divided by 2 multiplied by the mass is 3.20 g 9.81 and sine of 30 degrees that is 0 0.5 therefore d will be calculator 431 multiplied by 0 0.21 squared divided by 2 multiplied by 3.20 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.5 therefore 6.5 centimeters this is the item A. Now B. The distance between the point of the first block spring contact and the point where the block speed is greatest. Okay. Okay. So, initial situation is the same. Energy, zero. Now the final situation will be when the spring is compressed but not so compressed, not in the final situation. So we can write minus mg and the height will be d minus the maximum compression compression that is this is the position when the block encounters the spring minus x this is the uh, the amount of the compression of the the spring that's the unknown we want to to find multiplied of, of course by the sine of theta plus the potential energy of the spring now the amount of compression is x plus the kinetic energy So here we have our energy and we can rewrite this equation 
considering, of course, what interests us, that is x. So we can write, let's write it mg multiplied by d minus xf multiplied by sine of theta minus minus oh yes oh here is not minus here is plus because we are considering this distance so plus when x is great uh, is increasing we are increasing the amount of negative potential energy so this is plus and here we have minus so here okay now it's correct uh, so mg multiplied by x multiplied by sine of theta this equals oh let let put this term also minus one divided by two multiplied by k x squared this equals one half m v squared the kinetic energy and so we can write v squared will be two multiplied by g then here I, I would divide uh, or I divide all terms by m and multiply all terms by 2. So v squared will be 2 multiplied by g multiplied by d minus fx sine of theta plus this term will be 2 g sine of theta multiplying x minus k divided by m x squared so we have here a function the speed is a function of x in fact I, i'm using v squared but that's okay because what we wanted is the greatest speed and when we have the greatest speed v squared will be also the greatest value so it's not necessary to to find the value of the greatest uh, the greatest value of, of, of the speed it can be the speed squared it, it will be the same point the same x so in fact to to find this maximum point is necessary to divide the derive to derive or derive i don't know derive uh, to take the derivative of v squared and this must be equals zero so let's do it deriving v squared so here we have this term is constant so will not appear 2g sine of theta minus 2k divided by m multiplied by x and this equals zero in find in order to find the the maximum so the maximum will be 
uh, isolate x we will have of course this we cancel each other and we will have m divided by k multiplied by g sine of theta this is the position we want this is the distance between the point of the first block spring contact that is this point is d minus x f and x will be the point we want so let's put the, the numerical values x will be 3.20 kilograms divided by 431 divided by 9.81 divided by sine of 30 degrees 0 0.5 therefore we will have 3.3 3.2 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.5 divided by 431 x will be 3 centimeters point 64 oh, 3 point oh, equals 3 point 64 centimeters And here we have the solution of the problem. Therefore, the problem is solved.